Hello and greetings from friends to all members of the map.net team. This is a short presentation of the software product called Muse that we at CityGestion are currently developing. Muse is a service management software package intended to help cities and towns to create and maintain the urban infrastructure elements such as street lights, traffic lights and bus stops. On the client side, we have a rich desktop application built with the WPF on the .NET 4.0 platform. We are also using a number of modern frameworks and technologies from Microsoft and its partners. The client communicates with the Muse application server and the map.NET server through HTTP. Let's start by opening the navigation view, which allows the user to explore the existing elements managed by the application. This is a map of Paris. All of the city's service zones are color-coded and are easily identifiable. Bing map layers will be provided on demand from the customer. Zooming, panning and selection tools are easily accessible by the user from a dedicated ribbon menu. The system of favorites allows for rapid access to user-defined locations, such as Champs-Élysées in this case. The map presents the urban infrastructure elements managed by the city of Paris, such as street lights and traffic lights. The Bing satellite image layer can be removed for better contrast and visibility. The build drawing button activates a layer with the georeferenced raster image of the cadastral drawing which is typically obtained from a city or town technical services. Obviously, the georeferencing must be done beforehand. Another action allows the user to view the network associated with the element. The network is highlighted on the map, and an animation that indicates the direction of the flow is activated. In this particular case, the root of the network is also visualized and animated. One of the most exciting features of Muse is thematic analysis. Rendering is done on the client side and we are using WPF Toolkit's charting library for that. In this example, the analysis shows the allocation of equipment per street light in the form of a pie chart. The options dialog allows the user to make adjustments to the analysis settings. This feature is often used by our clients in order to anticipate the needs or to plan the operations of their teams on the ground. Another type of thematic analysis puts the size of the visual in proportion to the measured value. For instance, in the visualization of the electrical power consumed. In the options, the user can select a graphical symbol to represent the measured value and also define ranges of allowed values. This thematic analysis can be combined with another one of type luminance density map. A ground team uses a specially equipped vehicle to execute the photometric measurements on a regular basis, typically for various seasons. The volume of measurement data can potentially be very large, therefore we are using a WCF streaming service in order to facilitate the transfer of the data to the client side. The client application then visualizes the data in the form of a density map. One particularly interesting feature of Muse allows users to manage elements installed on the monuments or the building facades. Here, for instance, we see the Louvre Museum in Paris. Starting with the main map, we can access the different views associated with the museum's building. There are two views available in this example. These are, in fact, map.net maps. Each has a raster image used as the main plan. This way, we are able to simulate a plane of a building's facade with a geographic projection still in place, such as WGS84 in this case. As the result, the user can access the tools found on the main map and get the info associated with the managed element. In a similar manner, we are using the raster images in order to manage the interior of the buildings.
here we've got two different views available. Let's take a look at the view of the control room. The PCs and monitors are outlined by polygons, which are superimposed on the georeferenced raster image. The element navigation functionality applied to the buildings is in fact identical to that found on the other types of views. Another important feature, we are using symbol orientation to represent elements on the map. In this example we have the traffic light radars, and the symbol orientation allows us to indicate the zone covered by the radar. The angle of symbol rotation is determined by the value stored as a part of the element info in the database. Orientation is also used when we are placing new elements onto the map. Let's go ahead and create a new detection control loop element on the street. We can determine its exact distance from the sidewalk by using the integrated measurement tool. Let's provide it with a name. Now we can set its orientation relative to the street. And finally we place it onto the map. The network management functionality allows us to create connections between the elements with the help of cables. Let's start by drawing a cable. Now we can set the cable's network direction, which is indicated by an animation. This direction can also be reversed. That's all for this time, and we hope that you found this short presentation interesting.